Deputy Noel Grealish. Good morning. Ah, no, please, deputies. Deputy Grealish has the floor. Under the Rebuilding Ireland Action Plan on Housing and Homelessness, the Housing Agency recently purchased 29 houses in one estate in Cutchnahown in Clare Galway. This is a very sought after village with a very high demand for housing. While I acknowledge there is a crisis with people looking for social housing, there is also a crisis with people looking to get on the property ladder. What chance has a young couple to buy an AMA owned house when they can't even get the opportunity to bid on one? Will you, Tarnishta, give a commitment that some of these houses will be put on the open market where young couples can have an opportunity to bid on some of these houses and to try and get on the property uh, uh, ladder, uh, Tarnishta? It's not right that uh, these houses are bought en bloc. And young couples that are saving, staying at home with, pa with parents, with young children, they're trying to get out there on the property market and they just can't, where the housing agency is coming in and buying these up in blocks. It's not just in Clare Gaul, but it happened in Nathan Ryan, it's happening all over the place. So there must be some route to put there where young people can Minister bid on these Murphy. houses also. Thank you, Deputy, for the question. I mean, we obviously have a duty of care to the citizens of our country to make sure that we are providing housing for them. That's why Rebuilding Ireland is a commitment, a €6 billion Euro commitment, to bring 50,000 new homes into the social housing stock. But more than that, also using the private rental sector to look after people who are on the housing lists and do need housing supports. And it's very important that we do that. It's very important as well, though, that we have a mix wherever we are, either building a new community or regenerating a community. And that includes taking on some of the legacy housing stock from the crisis years which were left empty, ghost estates, derelict housing, and bringing them back into use, and we do that in a mixed way. Um, the housing agency is doing great work working with local authorities, working with other agencies to actually secure homes for social housing. But one of the things that I did say to local authorities at the first housing summit in September of last year was that where they are acquiring, um, they should only acquire in low demand areas because we want them to build more. 30% increase in building will happen this year because of that direction that I gave them. And obviously, as they approach each area in their own communities, that they approach it with that purpose of mix in mind so that we can get a sustainable mix in every area. Thank you, Minister. So I will I'll speak to the local authority about exactly what's happening there and the housing agency, and I'll come back to you in due time. Deputy